it has like yeah. I think we've done like ten conversations now on day two, so that's that's okay. And so far, still, I think the fighting is what really yes, comes up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Several children mentioned that there is a lot of fighting between children, and we were just talking to see is that actually also between adults? Do they learn that from watching adults, or is that something that just children do? We started our research in the Sahrawi refugee camps with interviewing children on what they thought about the children's rights situation in the camps. And is there anything you've learned? Mm. So, we learned that several children have said that there's a lot of fighting between children and that seems to bother them a lot, but that even if even if like, a child gets hurt quite badly, it's always resolved within the family. So maybe somebody else will tell us something else, but so far um, it seems that the police doesn't seem to get involved with, with these things. Once we had discovered that the issue of violence in the camps for children was an issue for them, of course we wanted to find out why this was the case. Um, we are waiting in front of the Ministry of Justice. This is the Ministry of Justice you are here. And we are um, waiting to see if we can speak here to people from the ministry to do interviews here. Uh, one of the important things I think for today is to find out about Sahrawi law, see if they have any laws and what are these laws and where can we find them, and um, especially of course concerning children and their experience with violence. So we're really starting to focus on that now and now seeing what protection mechanisms there are for these children. Um, Yes, I'm curious to see what we will find here. Why are these children fighting? Some children told us that they simply like fighting, while others are really concerned by it and maybe even scared. Some children may fight because they copy this behavior from adults as a way to solve conflict. And some children may fight because they are bored and there is not much else to do. From what we observed, there is very little to do for children living in the camps. The last couple of days, I've been continuing to travel to different camps to do interviews with children there. And my task was it like was to go to other camps and do interviews with children there, and I managed to go to Camp Alset. Going to Camp Dakhla was a bit more difficult because apparently we didn't know that I'd need like to go with a military escort or something because it's further away. We managed to set up a trip to the liberated territory, so the part of Western Sahara that's not under Moroccan control, but under control of Polisario. We want to also do interviews with children there and see like what issues they bring up. Uh, so far in the camps, um, everywhere we've heard stories of, of different types of violence that children experience a lot, including being beaten by teachers, but also a lot of fighting um, between the children that seems to uh, be a big issue in their their perspective. Luckily, besides all this talk about children and violence, we also heard a lot of positive things. Apparently there are a lot of really fun things about living in the Sahrawi camps as a child. In our next vlog we would like to tell you more about this and about the Sahrawi culture. So stay tuned! <laughs>